I'm Selwyn Richardson. I'm a soil scientist. I'm with ADAS. I've got 40 or more years experience behind me of working in the field as a soil scientist. Listen, why do crops need soil? Now, crops need soil because they get their food, their water and their air from the soil. They get their food, that is nutrients. They get their major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphate, potash, sulphur. They get their trace elements like boron, copper, manganese. Manganese is the most important one. That's the biggest trace element problem we get in this country. Now, crops get their nutrients, nearly all of their nutrient, from that top 20 centimetres of soil, eight inches, perhaps slightly more than that. They also get their water from the soil, and if anything, quite honestly, water is even more important than their nutrients. Crops need to get their roots down as deep as they jolly well can. They need to get their roots down to depth because they need to pick up moisture from the soil. And over the last couple of years, we've had dry periods. Crop roots that have gone down to depth have grown better, more vigorously, produced better quality crops than crop roots that have been shallow. Crops also need air from the soil. Many people don't realise that. We, right, if you're growing rice, rice will take air in through their leaves. But the temperate crops that we grow in this country, they have to pick up air from within the soil itself. Now, crop nutrients, right, major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphate and potash, that is what the farmer is most used to adding to his land to feed his crops. A problem is that nitrogen and phosphorus, not potassium, but nitrogen and phosphorus are major pollutants of water as well. And if nitrogen or phosphorus or both get into water, then they are significant contaminants. They're a problem to the environment. 